What's going on? It's Legend of Two Games, repping for real fans, real talk. Make sure you tune in every Thursday night. Also, check out the website, man. We revamped it. You guys going to love it. All new blogs, all new posts, uh, episodes, everything is up there, man. Realfansrealtalk.com. But today, I've got to talk about this Jalen Ramsey trade. And I wanted to let the dust settle. I wanted to let some of y'all other shows get into this, man, before I gave y'all my opinion. Because I know some of y'all, y'all get so caught up on the name and where it's going as opposed to the, the dynamics of that trade. And this trade is a really bad one for the Rams, I got to say. And I love Jalen Ramsey's game. Don't get me wrong. He is the best corner in football. He is a difference maker on the defensive end, right? We talk a lot about shutdown corners. He is that. But for the Rams, that's not what they need, right? They need pass protection. They can't keep Jared Goff upright. They need Ty Gurley to get healthy. The dude ain't really played most of the season. They, they've got him on, those, uh, on a carry and limit restriction where they don't want to wear him out because of the arthritis in his knees. And ultimately, they need to develop a pass rush again. And Jalen Ramsey will help with some of that. But right now, Aaron Donald is seeing double and triple teams and Dexter Fowler is not getting to the quarterback. Clay Matthews is not getting to the quarterback. So they need to figure out some of these other areas. But the main reason I don't like this trade is you're giving up two first round picks over the next two years, along with a fourth rounder, to pay Jalen Ramsey pretty much top dollar. Because one of the reasons he's out of Jacksonville is he wanted his new contract. And now once you lock him up, you've got him on a big time deal. Aaron Donald's already on a big time deal. Jared Goff's new contract hasn't even kicked in. And Ty Gurley's just started. You got four premium guys eating up most of your cap. Two of those guys on the offensive side aren't even really producing right now. I think they've got a lot of problems. I get it. I like the mentality of going for broke. But guess what? They've gone for broke the last three years and it hasn't worked out. I don't think this trade is going to be any different for them. Also, when you consider they just put a keep to leave on IR for the rest of the season and then trade Marcus Peters to ultimately bring in Jalen Ramsey, it's not really a forward move you're making. It's almost like you're going sideways. You're losing two quality cornerbacks to bring in one very good cornerback. They've got a lot of issues. They've got to figure it out. Most importantly, they've got to protect their quarterback. It doesn't matter how good Jalen Ramsey is. As you saw in Jacksonville, if they don't get the quarterback play around any defense he's on, it's only but so far it can go. And personally, I don't like the trade. I think it's going to backfire on them. For the, Ram I mean, for the Jaguars, they did the right thing. Jalen didn't want to be there anymore. They're not a Super Bowl contender. They're rebuilding. It's probably going to be around Garda Minshew moving forward. They need to bring in new pieces. And now they sit in a situation where they've got two first-round picks next year, or this upcoming draft, I should say, 2020 draft, and then the following year they got two first-round picks. I think they made the right decision. They had to move forward. Their defense is still in good shape. They've got a lot of playmakers on that defense. They just don't have their best corner anymore, man. But let me know what you think. I, again, my personal opinion, it's a loss for the Rams, a win for the Jaguars. But let me know what you think, man. Shoot a comment. Shoot a like. Just don't shoot me when you see me, man. RealFansRealTalk.com. This is Dion Grant from the New York Giants, Super Bowl champ. And you're watching Real Fans Real Talk.